Hello friends and welcome back to CMS Prep. Today we are going to discuss all the questions asked from the topic of program related to pediatrics from 2009 to 2024. So we have around 9 to 10 questions and we are going to discuss it. The first question is regarding IMNCI. So the question is under the IMNCI caretakers are advised to return immediately to a health facility if so four options are given the first one is any sick child that is not able to drink or breastfeed yes he will return because it is a danger sign so the caretaker are advised to visit uh, to the health facility if there is fast breathing or difficulty breathing in a child who has no pneumonia so no pneumonia is just cold and cough but if along with that the child develops fast breathing then he will be tagged under yellow category of IMNCI and he has to return to the health facility immediately. If there is blood in stool in a child with diarrhea, so blood in stool in a child with diarrhea indicates uh, dysentery. So he will be again tagged yellow and has to return to health facility for further check. Uh, child conjunctivitis in a child with measles. So this is the odd one out. It is not a danger sign and uh, uh, conservative treatment is done and the caretaker does not need to uh, return to the health facility so the correct option is option number one two and according to the imnci classification of young infants up to two months which of the following is not included in possible serious bacterial infection so let us analyze the option the first one is movement only when stimulated or no movement at all this is indirect way of telling us that the child is lethargic so this is the danger sign and it indicates serious uh, bacterial infection so this is the correct one axillary temperature less than 36.5 is also a danger sign and severe chest in drawing is also a uh, sign of possible bacterial infection but uh, this one is incorrect fast breathing because here the option is mentioned is 50 breath or more per minute the trick is that for, for 0 to 2 months it's 60 breaths per minute if it is above that it is considered as fast breathing from 2 months till 12 months it is 50 breaths per minute and from uh, 12 months till 5 year it is 40 breaths per minute ok so this is the uh, trick for remembering the fast breathing rate so in uh, neonates or uh, in children below 2 months it is more than 60 per minute so this option is incorrect axillary temperature less than 36.5 is a sign of a possible serious uh, possible bacterial infection because uh, it can be indicative of sepsis let's move on to the next question question number three which one of which one of the following is not a component of four d's that are under rbsk uh, in this four d's are covered so the first one is defects uh, which includes neural tube defect or cleft lip cleft palate etc the second one is disease like rheumatic heart disease or congenital hypothyroidism the third one is deficiency like iron deficiency anemia or vitamin a deficiency etc and the last one is developmental delay which deals with uh, autism and other neurodevelopmental disorder so in this disease is covered deficiency is covered developmental delay is covered but this one is odd one out so deficit is uh, a generic term with no specific medical or programmatic meaning in this context so this is the odd one out next question which of the following disease is covered under the rbsk program so we have four options the first one is rheumatic heart disease second one is community acquired pneumonia third one is systemic uh, onset juvenile idiopathic arthritis fourth one is nephrotic syndrome nephrotic so, though it is a chronic condition it is not explicitly covered under rbsk this is a rare autoimmune disorder and uh, not covered under the uh, listed disease of RBSK. Community acquired pneumonia is covered under IMNCI and rheumatic heart disease is the correct answer which is covered under diseases like uh, congenital hypothyroidism and uh, rheumatic heart disease. Identification of 4 Ds is a key element of which national health program. So IMNCI is focuses on reducing mainly focuses on the 5 diseases that is AD triple M acute respiratory illness, diarrhea, malaria, malnutrition and measles and uh, ICDS is related with childhood nutrition, education, JSSK is related to free services to the pregnant women and sick newborns and non-RBSK is the correct answer. 
so it uh, focuses on uh, disease deficiency developmental delay and uh, defects congenital defects which on which one of the following are uh, correct regarding the activities under the weekly iron folic acid supplementation program so wifs is for the age group 10 to 19 year old adolescents so the adolescents may be uh, going to school or non school going this program covers both the category and uh, uh, they are given iron folic acid to counter anemia adolescent anemia so iron is given 100 mg and folic uh, folic acid 500 microgram is given weekly and uh, you might know that uh, the woman iron acid come in red color here the color is blue and uh, it is given generally on monday so this is the correct option and by annual deworming of deworming with albendazole is done 400 mg so the correct option is option number 1 and 3 which one of the following statement is correct regarding the government of india program home based care of young child so h there are three things fbnc facility based newborn care hbnc uh, home based newborn care and hbyc home based care of young child so people get tricked into these so just keep it clear here it is being asked about hbyc so this program was started in 2014 this is incorrect it was started in 2018 the grassroot worker is Anganwadi worker, incorrect. The grassroot worker is Asha. The grassroot worker makes five, six home visits. This is also incorrect. Uh, Asha visits five times between three and 15 month. And uh, that is three, six, nine, 12 and 15 months. So the Asha worker visits at these months. So the correct option is option D. Which of the following facilities have been established at district hospital to strengthen the care of low birth baby and sick newborn? So for LBW and sick newborns, the correct option A. Special newborn care unit. So special newborn care unit are established at uh, district hospital to provide advanced care for low birth weight and sick newborn. Uh, like conditions like sepsis and uh, prematurity can be treated here. and. Other three options are in care of the first one is NBCC, full form is newborn care corner. The second one is newborn special uh, newborn stabilization unit, and the third one is SNCU special newborn care unit. So this is uh, usually established in the first referral center, and this is established in the district hospital or sub district hospital. So other three terms are. Uh, not related to it and incorrect which of the following is correct schedule for home visit by asha worker for a facility born newborn baby so the main confusion here is that if it is facility born and if it is a home born baby so in facility born you just remember the trick for this and add uh, one day and you will get the answer so the trick is 3 7 14 21 28 and 42 so on these days the asa worker will visit and assess the baby and if it is a home based delivery then within 24 hours of home delivery the asha will come and check the baby and it is different from uh, home based care of young child it is done between 3 to 15 months so i hope you get the confusion so this is all for this video now we will move on to the next topic stay connected and subscribe like share and if you want to attempt the quiz you can go to our uh, telegram channel and attempt the quiz for this thank you